Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, finally I'm done with story mode and I don't have to go into this mode anymore. Okay, free battle is you choose one opponent. I, I'm pretty sure I demonstrated that before. Actually, I don't think I did. It's just one fight and you can change the strength as much as you want. Survival... It allows you to go through every boss you fought in the story mode in one-on-one -on -one fighting. Okay, to unlock something, you have to do this as King Piccolo. So why not give him a little bit of action? Okay, that was a very awkward exchange. But, I came out on top, so I'm not going to complain. This guy will not be able to live to complain. Poor Garen. Gotcha! Flawless victory. If I can keep winning with flawless victories, I'll be in really good shape. Considering you're going on a green health bar that does not rejuvenate between fights. Therefore, you have to be very good against multiple enemies at a long stretch. Keep using your explosive wave up in the air and do some nice damage. <laughs> Garen and Nam are easy, but Jackie Chun could do a little bit of damage to you. Because he is fast. Ugh! Whoa, he never got to do anything! Poor guy. I'm not gonna use my super special yet, which you can only do on the ground. I'm gonna save that for difficult fights. There we go. Ah, another flawless. No, wait, wait, I, I did lose some health. Very small amount, though. Still in good shape. Now for Mercenary Tau. Oh, I could not block. Neither could he. His break meter was still pretty low. That's it. Perfect. Only lost a little bit of health. More so than against Jackie Chun. But I still see a lot of green. Okay, Gohan could be a challenge. Damn it. Damn! You ain't got to hit him once! Eh, uh -huh. stupid old man. Man, this guy can really give you a lot of exchanges. You barely get to do anything. That's that's a nice bit of exchange. I almost missed him completely. So I guess Chiatsu is next, if we're going in order. He managed to break me? How is this possible? How did Chiatsu, of all people, break me? Oh, this is embarrassment right there. For that, you're going to pay! In a very nasty way. I'll save it for Krillin. Yeah, I didn't even need another explosive wave. Now I see red, so 
so I better be cautious. Oh, he broke me first! He had very little left in his meter. Okay, now he's almost beaten. That's what I love about this thing. Perfect. Only lost a little bit of health. Could've been worse. Tian's lower blocking is awful. I can take advantage of that. Eh, maybe not. Okay, good, good. I need to do a little bit more. That will do. God, who's next again? Piccolo? I believe so. Yeah, I gotta take on myself. This should be interesting. That's it. That's it. Now I gotta beat myself. I can save my explosive wave for Goku. Because he's next. He's the second last opponent. He's gonna be fast and he's gonna be tough. Ah, oh, damn it. No. Perfect. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh, he was in the air. I couldn't do anything to bounce back. Perfect. One more opponent. I still have a lot of health. Yep, Cyborg Tau is your last opponent. Remember, you never fought this guy at all in story mode. And he's going to be tough. Wait, did I even hit him at all? There we go. This is going to be close. What? Oh, I thought I did my super. Guess not. How to do it the old fashioned way. I wanted to do my super special to finish it off, but it doesn't matter now. I win. Congratulations, thank you for playing. Gee, thanks. Now I can choose stage during one-on-one -on -one fighting, nice. And I think that was pretty much it, wait. Obtain collection item, mecha goggles. Now you can select Cyborg Tau for one-on-one -on -one fighting. And it saves again. Gee, thanks. So yeah, you can choose Cyborg Tau now, which is nice. So I got all one-on-one -on -one fighters. Yeah, let me do some mini games. Rock crushing. Get a chance to play as Goku again. It's basically the exact same rock crushing event that you went through before. Ooh, I got Jackie Chun's portrait. What portraits mean is that in extra mode, you can pretty much play as just about any character as long as you get their portraits. You also have to collect all seven Dragon Balls during extra mode in order for this to happen. So at this point, extra mode, I can choose between Krillin, Goku, 
and Jackie Chun. I'm not kidding. You can even play as standard enemies like wolves, boar soldiers, red ribbon army soldiers. The possibilities are endless. You have to make sure you get all the seven Dragon Balls and their portraits, which are located all across the map. Well, in the platforming levels, at least. And I'm trying to get that hourglass, and it would not let me get it. Thanks, rocks. I really enjoy wasting time. And that did a great number on my time, too. That's my final score. It's gonna be 24,880. I know for second place. You don't really unlock anything by getting the top score, just bragging rights. I might as well try the catch corn minigame. Yep, got the real one. I don't think you unlock anything through the corn minigame. Just, you know, bragging rights, I suppose. Just to prove that you love cats so much. Just watch the fakes. Some of them are very hard to spot. Let's see how much I can do. I mean, we gotta get cats on the internet somehow. People love cats. Be a little too much. Come on, gonna get some cats. Got sixteen. Ah, uh, sixteen's a it's a pretty impressive high. Yeah, Goku was not grabbing core in there game. And it's a high score. Originally it was twelve. That's pretty high, too! Actually, to show off extra mode, I'm gonna do just one level. You can do pretty much any level, but you don't get anything in most of them. You might as well just go to Goku's house just to get the first bit. Remember, you can play as Krillin any time just by going to Select, Player Select, and yeah, I might as well play as Goku. Because I haven't played as him in a good while. Not to mention, we can get through those red doors that are now open. Like, I'm just gonna show off one level, and then I'm gonna stop, and do the rest of the levels. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh! A, ro a power pole upgrade! Now Goku can use his up and A jump anywhere not just on those red dots either that's awesome which means you can explore a lot more areas this way yeah that was a very awkward way to put a character portrait like up there how does one know to look up there now when i get all seven dragon balls i can not only play as jackie chun but a bear or four soldier Yes, a boar soldier. Alright, so far so good. Uh, let's see, this one's gonna be dangerous. Now I get to play as a camera. I might as well just sacrifice a life. I don't have to get it again, which is a good thing. So yeah, I think I found all the character portraits in this level. Some of them are easy to spot, others not so much. Yeah, that's the unfortunate side of it. And once I get everything, then well, that's pretty much it. I don't have to show you anything else. There's only so much that I can show you. Get used to it. Vault, so was that. Oh yeah, I can go down here. And I get the four-star Dragon Ball. One down, six more to go. 
Remember, the Dragon Balls are the most important treasure you can find in this mode. Anything up here? Nope. It's just decoration. You know, I'm starting to miss that double jump. Those were good times. And those aerial combos, too. I guess I have to be used to being without them if I'm Goku. I don't really feel like switching to Krillin again. No offense to the guy, but he's had his time. Krillin can go back to chilling. Let's see what's in this door. Another capsule. That's the Ox King's axe. Nice. Chicken! Actually, I think that's everything that I can get. Remember, you have to finish a level to get all the collectibles, otherwise you'll just have to go through the level again. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll do some more levels, starting with Pilaf's Palace. Goodbye, everyone.